Good morning, Wisconsin. We've had such a fantastic past eight days, well above average temperatures, and now we've been slowly falling, right? Getting closer and closer to our normal average high for this time of year. Yesterday, we were still about 10 degrees above it, hitting highs at 76 here into Green Bay, 72 into Appleton, and now the cold front has passed over. As you can see, that cooler air sinking in throughout the Great Lakes region and, of course, dropping our temperatures. It's crisp out there. Grab that jacket as you head out the door this morning morning. We're into those low to mid 40s into the Fox Valley and Lakeshore, but Aconto Mountain and Ansego flirting with some patchy frost potentially as you were sitting into the 30s right now. So I hope you brought your sensitive plants inside. If not, cover them up pretty quickly here. We are also sitting in a dry air mass, those browns showing low dew points. So that's of course with the wind at about 15 miles per hour, first starting out of the north, eventually switching out of the south. Just that much wind has put us back into an elevated fire risk once again today. It's the season, so please no burning and be careful where you put your cigarette butts. Any wildfire can spread pretty rapidly in these low relative humidity conditions. So beautiful sunshine for a majority of us. Just a few clouds sticking around Door County here this morning. Those will even leave. Everybody's going to be bright and beautiful and abundant sunshine today throughout Wisconsin. But now notice you can see some showers and storms already pushing in towards western Wisconsin and through Iowa and just south of Minneapolis. Don't worry, we're not going to see them today. We actually have a high pressure that's going to continue to block them and hold them off throughout our afternoon. So we have nothing to worry about besides maybe putting on some sunscreen because we have a UV index at 6 today. Maybe a little bit cooler too, highs of about 67. And of course, a few clouds building in in our evening hours as the system starts to approach. The high pressure eventually gives way. These two low pressures swing towards us, bringing us shower chances overnight and through tomorrow morning. We could see a rumble of thunder by tomorrow night as well. So all of this arriving after 3 a.m. Again, heavier chances of rain down to our southern areas. This clears out of here by noon, and then we'll be left under some cloudy skies with even some gradual clearing by the evening. Now, after 10 o'clock, we could see a few storms fire up, mainly into the Northwoods and Door County. None of them are expected to be severe, and in fact, none of them are really expected to stay storms either, as our SPC hasn't even put us in a thunderstorm risk. So we are looking at about a quarter inch of rain by the time tonight and tomorrow morning is said and done. But by the time Thursday night and Friday rolls around, we could have picked up another one to two inches with some strong to severe storms expected late Thursday night to early Friday morning, mainly through the hours that you'll be sleeping. So not good hours to have severe weather rolling through, but we're good for now. Get outside, soak up the beautiful sunshine. Perfect day out there. Sunset at 816. Temperatures of 45 degrees into Appleton. We will reach highs into the upper 60s, upper 50s by the lake, a little bit cooler there tonight. Rain arriving into the 40s. We go and then tomorrow we're staying the coolest day of the week into the upper 50s for us even some low 50s into the Northwoods rain eventually winding down sun peeking out by the evening so there's those storms Thursday night into early Friday morning a few claps of thunder still linger through Friday afternoon a few showers potentially Saturday morning but really that system clears on out of here as soon as those temperatures fall back into highs of just the 50s for your weekend as well so a cooler weekend but at least it's calming down we'll take the storms during the week. Oh yeah, for sure. It's kind of nice when you sleep, like yeah. a lullaby. Oh, absolutely. Brittany, thank you. <laughs>